In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. May dear brethren, to be worthy to participate in this celebration of the Holy Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins, ask the Father's forgiveness, and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, look with compassion on our affliction and so lighten your children's burden and confirm their faith that they may always trust without hesitation in your fatherly providence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves Another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandments there may be are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself, Love does no evil to, to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Bless the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. He downs through the darkness a light for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Please all stand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Upon you, 
your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you, wishing to construct a tower, does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion. Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, this one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would at first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops. But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again, I welcome you all. First, the parishioners of our parish of St. Padre Pio. Secondly, all the pilgrims here joining us in our celebration face to face and those one with us to live streaming. The one theme of the readings for today, Wednesday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time, is all about discipleship. Ang maging tagasunod o alagad ni Kristo. It would seem at first hearing that the first reading contradicts the gospel today because Saint Paul in his letter to the Romans tells us wala tayong ibang sagutin sa buhay kundi ang sagutin tayo'y magmahal. And Jesus in the Gospel tells us, those who don't hate their father, their mother, their brothers, their sisters, cannot be my disciples. For the Jews, the word hate 
does not mean the meaning we have now. Pag, uh, yung salitang hate sa ating buhay ay iyong kasuklaman. Iyong kasuklaman. Kamuhian mo. Sa Hudiyo, hate means you love less. Sa so, dilang language, ha? hate means loving less. Kaya, pag sinabi ni Jesus, if you love me less than your mother, your father, mother and sisters, you cannot be my disciple. Sa Tagalog, ang sino mang nagmamahal sa kanyang ama't ina at mga kapatid nang higit sa akin cannot be my disciple. If I will ask you now, do you love God for sure, 100%, you will tell me, Yes, Father, I love God. Ang ating problema ay ito. Do you love God more than anything else? More than anybody else? Yan ang problema. Pero yung mahal mo ang Diyos, ay opo, opo Father, I love God. Ay pero yung higit sa lahat, aba, iba na iyan. Iba na. At yung mahalin mo ang Diyos more than anything more than anybody else is our cross in our lives. Kasi mahirap eh. Cruz. Ay ako bilang pare. I have left everything. My family. Ay hindi ko matiis eh. Pag nangailangan ng mga kapatid ko eh, hindi maaaring hindi eh. Hindi maaaring hindi. I cannot say no eh. I am the eldest in the family. My parents are already in God's mercy in heaven. Ako na ang tumatay yung amatin na sa amin. Pagka nakasakit, nagkasain kapatid, kargo ko eh. Karga ko eh. Ramdam ko ang bigat eh. And we're not getting older. I'm 64. Sabi ng iba ay eh, ako day 20 laang. Ay ako'y napagupit pa. Hindi kilalong batang bata. But I'm already 64. Baka hindi nyo alam. Senior na senior na ako. Kaya cross ko eh. It is my cross to love and to serve God above everybody, above everything. It is my cross. But with God's mercy and love, Jesus tells us in the gospel today, if you carry your cross, you are my disciple. Biruin 
ay hindi hindi mo kayang marin ang Diyos sa higit sa lahat. Yun ang iyong cross. But if you carry your cross, still you are my disciple. That's why we cannot but be with Christ. If we love Him more than anybody else, we are with Christ. If we love Him not more than anybody else, still we are with Christ. Kaya wala tayong susuutan eh. That's how merciful is God and loving. To the prayers of Saint Padre Pio, let us continue reflecting on the Word of God. Let us be humble enough to accept that we cannot love God above all things, above anybody else. It's our cross. But with God's strength, let us carry our cross. And it is discipleship. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. Blessed are you, Lord, you are the full creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine. We offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we confidently bring before you and turn, we pray, the bitterness of the sorrow we bear into a sweet and fragrant sacrifice before you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Yes, sir. 
please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the heavenly Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Let us pray in silence our faithful departed. Welcome them all into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Kaisasai, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Santo Padre Pio, our beloved patron, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is your Almighty Father forever and ever.
At the sabers human and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your, leave, with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Of its other the greeting and sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should, should enter, enter my, under my roof, but, but say only the world, say the world, and, and my, my soul, soul shall, be healed. shall be healed.
The second collection, which will be done, is for the continuing development of the parish and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. Thank you for your offering. Let us all stand. Let us pray. We humbly entreat you, Lord, that nourished and fortified by this divine banquet, we may have strength to face future trials with fortitude and to lend more generous help to our brothers and sisters in time of trouble through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Santo Padre Pio, all together. Padre Pio, holy monk from Pietralcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our, our bright, bright beacon, beacon in this, in this earthly pilgrimage, pilgrimage our sanctuary in, in times, times of trouble, trouble Holy exemplar of great courage, with you our needs do we confide, as well our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless and grace us, that our lives may be fulfilled, from sin may we abstain, in God may we remain, we also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the Gospel, that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee. Our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Holy Spirit, and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Ang lahat po ay magsiupo para sa mga patalastas. Una, sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansan dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, nakahanda na po sa bandang unahan ng main church ang paglalagyan ng mga sobring may pangalan ng inyong mga mahal na yumao. Sila po ay ating ipagnonobena simula nung ikaisa hanggang ikasyam na Nobyembre at buong buwan nating ipagdadasal ang kapayapaan ng kanilang kaluluwa. Makipag-ugnayan lamang po kayo sa ating mga tagapaglingkod. Ikatlo, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humihingi ng inyong kaunting oras at pakikiisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at ilang detalye sa ating Pilgrim's Information Record Book na makikita sa paligid ng Divine Mercy Sanctuary 
sa main church, sa main store at iba pang lugar dito sa Pambansan Dambana. Ito po ay bilang bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng datos at turismong pangsimbahan. Ikaapat, si Sales ay matatagpuan sa Barangay Marawi, Lipa City. Ito ay isang bahay formasyon ng mga kabataang lalaki na tumutugon sa panawagan ng Diyos sa buhay pagpapari. Sa paglipas ng panahon, ang seminaryo ay dumaan sa maraming pagsubok at pangangailangan. Sa biyaya ng Diyos at sa suporta ng mga taong may mabubuting kalooban, ang seminaryo ay nakapagpatuloy sa paghuhubog ng mga kabataang lalaki magpahanggang sa kasalukuyan. Sa kabila ng lahat ng ito, nagpapatuloy pa rin ang adhikain ng seminaryo na matugunan ang mga pangangailangan ng mga seminarista sa maraming aspeto. Hindi niaalis ng seminaryo ang paghingi ng tulong sapagkat hindi rin tumitigil ng pagpapadala ang Diyos ng mga taong may mabubuting kalooban. Sa diwang ito, nananabik ang aming puso na tanggapin ng bukas palad anumang tulong na inyong may pagkakaloob para sa seminaryo at para sa mga hinuhubog sa buhay pagpapari. Ang isang palad na marunong magkaroon at magbigay ay isa na rin pusong nag-aalay. Hindi man po namin kayo nakikilala, ngunit ang Diyos na bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala ang bahalang magbalik ng inyong kabutihan na ibinigay para sa aming kapakanan. Maraming salamat po. Sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan, magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas na religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos sa amang makapangyarihan at maawain upang tayo ay maging kawangis si Kristo sa taimtim na pagdalangin sa turo ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoon Diyos, kayo po ang bukal ng lahat ng pagkapala at biyaya. Ibuhos niyo po ang inyong bendisyon sa lahat na mga gamit at bagay na ito sa panalangin, mga rosaryo, imahit, dasalan, ang nagpapalaan ng inyong kabutihan, kabanalan, at pagamahal sa amin upang ang lahat ng dumulog at magdasalag gamit ang mga ito ay magtabo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin niyo pong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ng lahat ng mga santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ang manamin sumasalangit ka, sambahin ang alan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo. Sundin ang loob mo dit sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin at huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abaginong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Yesus. Santa Maria ay nanan Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Panalangin para sa mga kaluluwa, kapayapaan kailanman ay gawad na may kapal sa mga yumaong ating mahal. Sila nawa ay silaya ng ilaw, ng ilaw na, walang na walang hanggan. Amen. May the souls of our loved ones and the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, sambahin ang alan mo, Mapa sa amin ang kaharian mo, sundi na loob mo dit sa lupa para na sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ang aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. 
Abaginong Maria na pupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kami makasalanan, ngayon, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, para noong, para noong una, una, ngayon, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. hanggan. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go with the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God.